long time, I've just been curious about how individuals know their place within a group. What is my role? What is my rank? How do I know someone else's rank relative to my own? And how is that represented by cells and synapses in the brain? I'm Kay Tai, the Wiley Bale Chair and HHMI Investigator here at the Salk Institute. Understanding how specific cells give rise to a mindset is really kind of the, the biggest gap that I see in, in my research program. How do we bridge psychological concepts with neuroscience? How do we take the mind and ground it into the implementational biology of the brain? So understanding how these processes that we experience, these feelings, the sensations, these intuitions that we have, how is that actually being you know, made possible by electrical impulses and cells in our brain. The primary goal of the study was to learn how the brain and specifically the medial prefrontal cortex represents social hierarchies and how it impacts behavior when a social conflict arises. If you were to think of the brain as a set of railway networks connecting different input stimuli to different output behaviors, and then the PFC, or the prefrontal cortex, acts as the switch operator for these. So based on the type of context you're in, it will connect different pathways so as to produce the most appropriate behavior. We designed a novel behavior paradigm where rodents were made to compete with their cage mates for food, while simultaneously we recorded neural activity from the medial prefrontal cortex. We also developed a deep learning based tool to track their movements during this competition task so as to identify relevant behaviors for social interaction. We were actually able to find that specific neurons in the prefrontal cortex decode who is going to win or lose the next trial even before the competition has begun. Not only can we predict just who is about to win the next trial, but we can also determine specific behavioral outputs um, based on prefrontal cortical activity. I was very surprised that we were able to decode behavior from this brain region with such detail. I was even more surprised that we would be able to predict who is going to win or lose on a given trial so far in advance. We have these intuitive experiences, emotions, internal states and processes that we experience every day, but you know, that, these are processes of our mind. It's always been a mystery of how that's actually implemented by the biology of our brains. So to be able to pin down to specific cells and electrical impulses with precision, how we have these experiences about who's gonna win next or whether I feel that I'm the dominant in this group um, is really powerful. And we were able to not only predict rank and um, competitive success, but also be able to predict the specific nuanced behaviors that have to do with dominance-related behavior.